The Contax 28 to 85 mm zoom lens. Is it the best vintage zoom lens you can buy? Let's find out. Vintage lens! If you, like us, like vintage lenses for filmmaking, then this lens very well could be your best bet. We have a set of Leica prime lenses, a set of Contax prime lenses, and a set of FD lenses. They're all absolutely amazing, but what we wanted was something with a little bit more range. Our main work is documentary filmmaking and they're very fast paced and we simply don't have the time to keep switching prime lenses. So we scoured the internet and I found a whole bunch of options, but what I was so surprised about was how cheap this Carl Zeiss contacts lens was. I picked one up for £250. It was f***ing incredible. Yes, £250. I couldn't quite believe it, so obviously I thought there has to be a catch, but there wasn't. Well, on paper, I suppose there was. It's an f3.3 to f4 lens. Are we gonna be okay in low light? Are we gonna get a shallow enough depth of field? Of course, shooting with the FX6 and the Sony a7S 3s with amazing low light performance, the f3 wasn't actually a problem. Also, we could get enough depth of field to get that cinematic look that we always have yearned for. Of course, we would like any lens to be faster. Who wouldn't? But having the zoom and being able to get a wide, a mid and a tight shot without ever having to change lens far outweighs any shallow depth of field. If you're shooting any events that are happening in real time, you won't miss a shot due to lens changing. Fact. So I lent our lens to Kate at Kissing Gate Films to go and shoot a wedding with this lens all day. She had the same concerns as we did. It's slow, is it gonna look okay? Is it gonna be okay in low light? And at the end of the shoot, she turned around to me and said, where has this lens been all my life? Of course, we absolutely love it, but what's so good for us is that it matches our current Sony glass. So if we want the modern features of our current Sony lenses, like stabilization, autofocus, etc., then they match perfectly. All we need to do is add a little bit of contrast and saturation and it brings it up to the modern day. And they are the reasons that we love this lens, and I'm sure that you will love it too. Okay.